Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting haul because we have both House of CV and Opali items and those two brands are just so, so beautiful. House of CV has been like my dream brand for forever and I finally decided to treat myself and get a couple items from there. So let's start with House of CV and then we'll do Opali after. The first thing that I have is this really, really pretty blue cottage core dress. This reminds me of Cinderella before the transformation even though I know she didn't wear blue. That's just the vibe it gives me and I love it so much. By the way, I got extra small for everything and if it had plus cups, I picked that. And I'll talk about the fit of each dress as we go. So this first one, the bodice part of the dress has this really pretty embroidery type of thing going. We have some little frills. And then the skirt is, the material of the skirt actually kind of surprised me. I wasn't expecting it to feel this way almost is a little stretchy and like cooling to the touch if that makes any sense it's just different than what i expected a dress like this to look like on their website house of cb does kind of give you the impression that the fabric is like cotton a lot of these dresses are actually made with a lot of polyester however the quality does feel really nice and it feels sturdy the back of this dress has a little corset like tie up back going and it does kind of give you room to expand or tighten it as needed and this dress in particular does not have any boning however it does really snatch you up there's a little ribbon going around here which is really cute the bottom of the dress has these little frills peeking out and there is a lovely slit i think that adds such a pretty detail and then the straps are adjustable but they are also so elastic which I don't love when they're elastic like either make them elastic or make them adjustable but not stretchy because then they'll kind of hold up longer so that was one thing I don't totally love the cups have an underwire but they aren't padded which I like because I don't like like really bulky padding and it does have pockets so in terms of the fit it was pretty difficult to zip up but I learned that that is what is supposed to happen. Their dresses are supposed to really snatch you in, so they might be a little hard to zip and they might be a little bit hard to like breathe in at first, but the fabric relaxes. However, with this dress in particular, I think it would be okay to size up one size because it does have the adjustable back and you can tighten it if it's a little bit loose. I had to expand the back all the way to make it fit. I think the cups fit okay. I feel like there is a little bit of extra space in there, but I did get the plus cups. So I'm thinking like maybe I should have gotten the regular cup. I'm not sure. Everything is double lined. It's not going to be see-through at all. So the quality really is quite good. Another thing that I will point out is that I feel like this V at the front is a tiny, tiny bit lopsided. Maybe it just needs to be ironed down. I'm not totally sure. I do kind of wish they had like at least two pieces of boning down the front so that the V kind of stays down. Or maybe it's just a sizing issue. Maybe I should have sized up. Overall, although I really like this dress and I picture myself like picking flowers in the English countryside so I need to book a plane ticket ASAP. This next dress is probably one of the most beautiful things I've ever put on my body. My first impression of this one was just that it was the most amazing quality in terms of like the way it feels. It's so thick, it's so like sturdy, everything is just done so nicely. It's very very pretty, the fabric feels nice, it feels really good quality. This dress has adjustable straps, it has underwire cups, no padding but it is lined, and it has real boning going down the fronts and the sides and the back. It's like sturdy plastic. It's not the metal kind, but it's not the really flimsy plastic either. So I think it's really nice. The bottom is just so frilly. And once again, this one has pockets. I love the little lace at the top of the cups as well. Now with the sizing, I was a little bit confused. I originally bought this in a size small because on Reddit, I read that House of CB tends to run small. So I got size up. The small fit a little bit loose and it wasn't like really snatching me. And I felt like it just looked too big. So I decided to exchange it for an extra small with plus cup. Now this one was really hard to zip up, but apparently, like I said, that is what's supposed to happen. However, these cups are definitely too big. So I think I should have gone with the regular cup. I'm kind of in between, I wasn't sure. However, I do think it is very visible that these cups are too big. I don't know if you can tell, but I can tell that the bottom of the cup, like the underwire, isn't lined up. There's like a bit of a gap here, and my torso is already short, so I don't think it's a torso problem. I think it's just the cups are too big. I also feel like there's a lot of gapping if you look at it from 
the side or the top and it just looks a little bit strange. Other than that, I do feel like this dress was made for me. It is so my style. But I will say I really want to go to a House CB store in person and try stuff on because this stuff is just really hard to figure out. And there is no House of CB store anywhere nearby. There is a Nordstrom that has House of CB dresses in New York City, which is kind of, it's not super close, but like I can go there and maybe try some stuff on in person. And I would definitely recommend if you have the opportunity to go somewhere in person, then definitely do that. This next House of CB dress is definitely very different from the other ones I've tried. So in terms of the quality and the fabric, I was honestly really shocked with this one because it feels very Thin. Now I know it's supposed to kind of be like a flowy material, but it was a lot thinner than I expected And it honestly doesn't feel as good quality as the other dresses But I guess it's just the way it's supposed to be once again We have underwire cups, which I totally appreciate because the girls aren't going to slip out Like I know that if I were to try a sheen or an Amazon dupe of this dress the cups probably wouldn't be underwired and they would not supportive at all. This one has these little sleeves and this little strap that you can tie around your neck. You can also adjust the string between the cups. The sleeves do have this elastic but when it is on your body this fabric isn't stretchy at all. I was expecting it to be stretchy for some reason it looks like it should be stretchy but it's not stretchy at all and because this is long sleeves and the sleeves are sewn to the dress it is impossible to lift your arms and, and once again I don't know if this is because I got a size too small or what but I, I suppose even if you did get your normal size it doesn't have a lot of room for movement so I would say this is definitely a dinner dress not a dancing dress it also does feel like it might be a little bit on the short side so be careful and it doesn't stretch so when you sit down it gets a little bit tight I don't know I think I would definitely actually size up with this however the cups here fit very very good and this is the plus cup and they weren't too big I think a regular cup they I mean I it's supposed to be like quite revealing honestly so I guess maybe it's just personal preference but I know that the regular cup would have been like very very small on me I, I bet I don't actually know how much of a difference the regular cup and the plus cup is I would actually love to compare it side by side this dress I was able to zip up quite easily it's just that the arms they really they really have no room for movement all right last thing from house of CB before we move on to its sister brand mistress rocks which I still consider house of CB I guess I don't know but we have this corset I don't know I feel like things are so weird because this is also an extra small and I was expecting it to be tiny tiny because it's a corset but out of everything that I bought this is the loosest thing it's zipped up with absolutely no issue it's not even restricting and the cups feel very very big here but if I like lean down then they get really exposed so I think I really should have gone with regular cup I think that was just my fault well actually I did ask them I like filled out the like sizing help Thing, and one of the people from their team reached out and said to get the plus cups but once again I like I said I just don't really know my bra size very accurately anyway this has really nice boning all the way down the front we have this really pretty lace the color looks a little bit more purpley like lavender than I expected I guess I expected to be a bit more I mean it's pink but I expected to be a warmer pink but this ends up being like a very very cool toned pink the straps are adjustable the lace is very pretty it has like a nude colored lining that kind of gives like an illusion of it being see-through but it's not the cups are very thick with this one and there is underwire like I said they do feel very large though this whole thing feels a bit large the sizing has just been quite inconsistent however I think the quality of this is really nice if you just like feel it it just feels good quality so I will give it that I don't know it just looks really nice overall I almost forgot about this one other thing from House of CB which is this really really cute little bustier top now this one is very cropped and it was fairly tight. Now I think with this one I might actually want to exchange it for a size up because it does match me in but because it's cropped it, you can probably tell from the video but it like makes my stomach fat kind of bulge out and it's not very attractive. Like I think if it was a longer one and it like sucks everything in it's fine because it's like smooth but this one you could kind of see the bulges so I might want to size up. This one didn't have a plus cup option so this is just the regular one and the cups are definitely filled. The quality of this is quite good as well. The material is thick and it's white, but I don't think it's gonna be see-through. It has real boning, like the sturdy plastic kind. And the straps are adjustable because they kind of go through the top of the bodice and then you can tie them in the front. So you can kind of like adjust the ruching of the cups 
and you could adjust like the straps as well with that one string. All of the House to Be items, by the way, have really nice zippers. They seem to be good quality and they have little hooks at the top of the zippers to make sure that they don't unzip. I don't know, this is just one of those things where I'm like really not sure. I feel like a size up might be too big, but this size is a little bit too small. I, I kind of wish they did like number sizes because usually extra smalls are like zero to two and smalls are like four to six. So like I think if they had number sizes, they'd have like a slightly bigger range of sizes, which would be really nice. So yeah, let me know if you think I should exchange it or return it. All right, let's move on to Mistress Rocks, which is House of CB's sister brand. They were also having a sale and Mistress Rocks is a lot more affordable than House of CB. However, I will say the style is also quite different. Mistress Rocks, for the most part, has more of like an insta baddie like kind of aesthetic where everything is super tight maybe it's like more party maybe it's more like a college student like that is their target audience so that being said i feel like a lot of their things aren't really my style they have a lot more like vibrant colors but i did find two things that i liked and they were very affordable so i snatched them up the first thing is this white maxi skirt and considering this brand is quite a bit cheaper than house of cb the quality is pretty much the same i, I will say this quality feels really nice and i think the skirt it was on sale so it ended up only being like 30 dollars which i feel like is such a good price but also the quality is so good that it just ends up being quite a steal in my opinion. White maxi skirts have been like very trendy, very popular. I feel like it's a good staple to have because you can, you know, do a lot with it. And I have a lot of white short skirts, but I don't have a white maxi skirt. So this one was perfect because it's also not super boring and it has like this really pretty lace like paneling and it's like split up into like three tiers I guess kind of. So this top panel is double lined so that it's not see-through but the bottom two panels are not double lined so they are a little bit more sheer but you know it's just your legs at that point so it's not super important. In terms of the fit I feel like you can't really go wrong. I think it might be a little bit a little bit small because it's meant to kind of be more like a low-waisted thing but for me it kind of sits a little bit higher just like kind of rests on my hips instead of being like low-waisted which honestly I prefer so I I'm totally okay with that. The one thing I'm worried about is that when I move, I think it was gonna like spin around my body and like not stay straight. So maybe like a little bit of fashion tape could help solve that. Overall, very pleased with this skirt. Okay, next thing from Mistress Rocks is this mini dress. It is so cute so cute but it's absolutely tiny so as you can tell I was not even able to zip this up and even unzipped I was not able to sit down I was like what is happening I got the same size as all the house of CB dresses but turns out their size chart is a little bit different I kind of assumed it was gonna be the same but actually based on their size chart I should have ordered a small so my bad, my bad. However, we can still review it. Now the quality of this feels very nice. This material is is quality fabric. Because let's let's take a look. Okay. I think this is like actual linen. Yeah, so the outside of the dress is 25% linen and 75% cotton, which is really, really good. The Lining is polyester, which I like because it makes it kind of smooth and like silky. It feels nice quality. The front material is pretty rough and pretty stiff. It definitely looks like proper linen, I mean because it is. Since this is a strapless dress, the top of it has like a little jelly, what like what are they called? Like a, a little strip of like sticky jelly type. Well anyway, hopefully you can tell what I'm talking about. So basically just so that it doesn't slip down, right? And then the whole dress is kind of meant to look like it's you know kind of like ruffled in certain areas and it looks very effortless and it kind of gives me like sand vibes I don't know why but it's just like it's sandy to me it is like a very tight bodycon dress but yeah I cannot sit oh it's not stretchy at all so I cannot sit in this and or zip it up now I don't know if I should exchange this or just return it because honestly bodycon dresses I'm realizing just aren't really my style however this dress is so cute and like so like the natural material is it's very nice so i'm i'm torn if i should exchange it for the proper size or if i should just return it all right that's all for the mistress rocks items and now let me show you the o poly things this was my first time ordering from o poly and i will say that i am pleasantly surprised now in terms of the prices these are definitely cheaper than house of cb the dresses here range from i think some of them maybe even as low as 60 dollars, but mostly they're like around the 100 to 150 dollar mark Whereas House of CB is like at least $200, but 
usually more for the dresses anyway not for the not for the tops the tops are cheaper so oh poly is definitely more affordable however a hundred dollars is still not super cheap for a dress although i'm realizing that in this economy a hundred dollars for a dress is really not that bad anymore it really isn't unfortunately but at least for a quality one i mean like with shein you're just gonna get trash so and hopefully these are more ethical i'm not sure but anyway this is the first dress and this is the one that i was like really eyeing up the other two that i got i was kind of i just kind of bought them because i was like oh i might as well like try a few others get free shipping see if i like them anyway this was like what caught my eye and the first time i opened this i should have filmed it but my first reaction was wow the quality is amazing like it feels so thick once again we have real boning here in fact this boning feels even stiffer maybe than the house of cb boning the material is thick which is a good thing it's not like too too thick but what is what is it actually made of it's 98 percent cotton for the outside and then the inside is the lining is polyester which i think is quite good i know that cotton is a good fabric so it just feels really nice really nice all the seams are beautifully done you have this like really nice corseted bodice the top has these like little ruched ruffled kind of things going there aren't any cups and there's no like shelf bra or anything on the inside however because it is a corset it really kind of like flattens everything and sucks everything in. The zipper is on the side, which made it very, very hard to zip up by yourself. I thought the back would be harder, but no, like side was so much harder for some reason. It was harder actually not to zip up, but to get the hook to close because I was like, like reaching like that. Like I feel like in the back, it's kind of easier. But anyway, the skirt is so pretty. It's like little ruffles and it is super wrinkled right now. So I do need a, you know, like steam it or something the straps tie up so you do it yourself which means they are super adjustable and the back does have a little corset like tie up situation going however you can't really tighten the base of it because on the bottom it's already like you know sewn so it's like a v so it's like sewn together so if the waist is too big then you can't really tighten it anymore you can loosen the top though which is nice but you can't really tighten it too too much more in terms of the fit i got a size two based on their size chart and this dress feels big on me the corset is not snatching me at all it's just a little bit loose i do wish it was tighter and like i said you can't really tighten the back the chest area felt a little bit loose as well so i think i'm going to exchange this for a smaller size just because I think it'll look a lot more flattering that way. They did have this in a few other colors. I think they had this in a black and a yellow, and I think they had a white one with like red roses, which also that one was very pretty. I was torn between white and the patterned one, but I actually don't have a simple white dress, and I thought this would be perfect. And I think this is the kind of dress that can be dressed up or dressed down because the material is like that cotton material, which makes it not too like formal like if you had something satin or something glittery or, sh or shiny then it looks a lot more like formal and expensive and like you're going out but this i think you can make it look like a cute little going to the farmer's market dress especially the way you style it so i really love this one so much this next dress really caught my eye i thought it was so beautiful however first impressions the material is quite thin however it is very very soft and it is a little bit stretchy as opposed to the other one which is a lot more stiff the skirt is so flowy which makes it beautiful now this dress is definitely a lot less structured there's no boning or anything and the straps are not adjustable but i found that the straps fit pretty well oh actually i was wrong there is a little bit of boning at this front bit over here anyway as you can tell you kind of tie it in the front which i guess makes it pretty adjustable but it also can be pretty revealing and compared to the other one this one felt a little bit small even like i felt like i really was struggling to like tie these up and maybe it's just because i prefer it to be a little less revealing now there's nothing to support the bahoobies there's no like cups but once again it does kind of like let you tighten it however i don't think this would really be well suited for anyone with a larger chest just because I just think it wouldn't be as comfortable and supportive. Maybe if you did like a sticky bra type of situation though. This one also felt quite short, but I think it doesn't look as short as it felt. The skirt has this fun little frilly kind of lining underneath that gives it a little bit of extra volume. And this is such a spinnable, twirlable dress, which is really nice. But yeah, the fabric just doesn't feel as good, but I looked at it and I did use like a coupon code or something. But I think this dress was only like around 60 or $70, which honestly I think is pretty 
pretty good. And finally, we've made our way to the last piece of this haul. This dress is different than everything else I've shown. Everything else has been very like girly, light, summery, but this is like dark. This is like clubbing maybe. But I actually don't have a little black dress, which is why I decided to try this one out. So in terms of the quality and the fabric, it's a bit different than I thought. It's it's like a nice satin finish, but it is quite stretchy, which is nice. It's not super thick, but it's not super thin either. Somewhere in the middle, there is a little bit of boning on the side here to give it a little bit of extra shape, which I always appreciate. Now the cups do have an underwire and they are padded. Like I feel like these are thick. So that could be good depending on what you prefer. There is some boning like going down the front and it kind of has a corset look. The straps are adjustable. The skirt is a bodycon skirt and it has these like little ruffles. And I thought it was kind of strange because it does have strings to like tighten up the ruffles and kind of like hike them up a little bit higher. However, that's only on one side, so I guess it's meant to be kind of like an asymmetrical look, which is cool. Now, this one definitely felt small, kind of all around the body. It felt a little bit tight around the top and the waist, which honestly is okay because it does kind of like snatch you in. However, I don't think this fabric is the most forgiving when it comes to like a food baby situation because it is so shiny. It kind of reflects all of like the little bumps and imperfections, so in that way, I didn't really like it. I also found that the butt area was very, very tight and it was like, I mean, like maybe I just am not used to like body dresses or maybe I just don't really like them, but it felt like it'd be a little bit uncomfortable to walk around in because it just did feel very constricting. The cups also felt a tiny, tiny bit big. It was definitely giving me a lot of like lift, which could be good depending on your preference. In certain like lighting, this material almost looks like a faux leather type of thing. It doesn't really feel like a faux leather, but it can kind of give that illusion, which could be cool. I don't know. Overall, this dress I'm definitely going to return. I do need a little black dress, but I'm learning about myself more and more that I do prefer dresses that are a little bit more flared at the bottom. It's just more me. I do prefer like the more feminine girly style as opposed to like the baddie sexy hot style. You know what I mean? All right, guys, that's everything that I have for you today. Definitely let me know what your favorite piece was down in the comments below and let me know what other brands I should try next. I already have a few ideas like Princess Polly, Baby Boo, although with Baby Boo you can't do returns, you can only do store credit. But there's definitely a bunch of brands that I would love to try out. I'm in the process of kind of like redoing my closet because I honestly don't have that much clothes. I have a lot of like very basic pieces, so I'm looking for more fun things. So I would love to share some more hauls with you. Definitely hit that subscribe button because I do lots of hauls, but I also do lots of videos on like lifestyle and just how to like live your most aesthetic Pinterest self. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.